Okay, let's try this one. Um, so uh, recall, well, what is the question? Uh, which one of these compounds has the stronger ionic bond uh, between it, uh, um, between the two ions? Uh, and you can determine this by determining the melting point, and we'll uh, write that down after we figure out the problem, the answer to the problem. But anyways, remember we just we said that attraction increases in such a way as um, we've got a big plus minus. They're not going to be as attracted to each other as a small plus minus, but um, two plus and two minus are going to be more attracted to each other than a plus minus like small small. Right? So this is size. Here, and this is um, charge. Okay, so this is attraction. It increases in this way. And of course, um, so of course, this one's going to be more, have more attractive forces than the ones with only one. So attraction increases like that. Okay, so in other words, uh, if we recall what the common ions for this are, it's Li plus one and F minus. So this is a, uh, and these are both little, but it doesn't matter because we're comparing. You've got the same atom, it's really easy to compare. So we got Li plus and O2 minus here. So you can see what we're really doing is comparing the amount of charge. And here, we've got an overall one and one charge. So this is going to be here on the scale, right? And here we've got a plus one and a minus two. So the overall charge is going to be somewhere in the middle for uh, lithium oxide here, okay? so. In other words, uh, if we were to qualitatively assign which one of these compounds has the stronger ionic bond, it would be lithium oxide because we've got this negative 2 and positive 1 as opposed to here we've got just a negative 1. And if we uh, actually compared the uh, melting points of these two compounds, uh, it does follow suit, where this is 1570 degrees Celsius and lithium fluoride is 848 degrees Celsius. Okay. So we'll do another one of these. We'll leave that chart up there and we'll see if you guys can pick it up. Similar principle, but...